Hello, I am here to do my TED Talk, and I think procaine is so helpful, but yet no one ever talks about it or knows about it, and we don't know why, and they went to go see why. Why does no one ever talk about it? Um, what challenges that I face while researching it? Um, I think the most troubling part was that um, you really couldn't find a lot about it because it's not very easily like well known. Not a lot of people are going to go talk about it and the things I did find were actually quite interesting. Um, well I think that I wanted to do this because people really need to know about it. I think people need to know what procaine is and why it helps us and why it should be talked about. Um, I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, I learned that procaine can be actually is what actually dentists use, and they use it to numb your um, right here. They use it to numb you so that you don't feel them drilling into your teeth when giving them a cavity. They use it basically for that. They use it for your mouth. They don't use it for anything else. They basically wholly mouth based. Um, you can also drink it as a liquid. I found out, but it's not. It's still being tested. And I thought that was really interesting because I've only seen it used as a needle. How were I, were I challenged? I think I was very challenged to find out um, the, uh, how to do this, like how to um, to like find out the, how to like get people engaged to talk about it. Like, how am I going to do this? You know, I think how I'm going to do this is uh, procaine. You should is what you dentists use to help you not feel pain. It's Without it, you would feel a lot of pain when you were getting cavities, and you'd probably really hate it much more than it already is. Like it already hurts, but without it, you you would be in a world of pain. And I think it should be talked more about and appreciated more. Were there any variables that came up um, that were unexpected? Um, one of the variables was like the liquid part. I didn't think that was possible. I didn't think you like were able to do that with anesthetics. Like I didn't think you could just drink them with a liquid form. It was very interesting, I must say. And another part that was like very um variables that came up that were unexpected, or um I had a very unexpected thing of finding out that. Some doctors actually use it as well. I thought it was only dentists. Now, I would like to say that um, my purpose of the audience that they should learn from this is that they should learn that procaine helps you a lot. It's just, it should be known more. Like, a lot of people don't know it. It's also known as Novocaine. It's the same, like, uh, it's the same thing, but different names. And I think that it's very interesting. I always find medical stuff interesting, and the reason being is like I want to know how it works. I would like I want to know how it worked. How does it numb you? Like how does this go into your body and numb you to where you don't feel as much pain? And I think that's a very interesting thing. Like it should be talked more. Um, this and then I think that the takeaway of this should be to appreciate more and thank more that you have this in your life imagine back then when you didn't have this imagine your teeth imagine how much it hurt if it would have to give a cavity if we didn't have this